Nintendo's latest title and sequel to the incredibly fun and competitive online multiplayer third-person shooter like no other, an all-round Splatfest returns with Splatoon 2. It's only been two years since the inklings of Incopolis brightened up our screens, and they're back with more of the same vibrant neon splashes of ink to be hurled, sprayed and splattered at other gamers and onto every surface in an unruly mess helped on by a barrage of familiar but in some cases updated weapons, new abilities and special gear to unlock. And if you're looking to join up with a team to battle it out against players from all corners of the globe across new stages or taking on the latest single player campaign that catches up with the Squid Sisters, then Splatoon 2 once again offers up these main features of the original blueprint and exactly what made the first title so enjoyable. But also deals us many fresh features, with more emphasis on friendship and organising battles, there's new challenges and plenty of extras and details you will notice each and every time you play. This time the setting is located in Incopolis Square, situated just two subway stations away from the original title, acting once again as the main hub, providing you access to all the game's main features, and that's what I really like, as yet again you are only ever a few strides or clicks away by using the compact and easy to use menu from grabbing the newest gear, checking on the latest online battles, stats and from diving into the carnage via the online lobby. That brings many of the original options and the exact same four rule sets from Splatoon, including Splat Zones, Tower Control, Rainmaker, but the Turf War continues to be the main event and the start of the getting back into the swing of things or playing the game for the very first time in two teams of four setting out to decorate the playing area as much as possible. And it's as fun as ever, non-stop action. Unless of course you're waiting in the lobby, but you can craft some new beats in the meantime. There is plenty of replay value here, as you try to get to grips with and work out and utilize each map's features from the obstacles, walls and ink rails to use at your advantage. But as you also rank up and earn money, you'll be able to purchase all the latest fashion trends from the new shops which, like before, all come with individual abilities that increase the more you use the items during battle. And if you're feeling helpful to your team in certain ways, whether it be in close combat, sniping from afar, a bit of everything or just love to spread ink about, the weapons once again have something for everyone, which now includes four new weapons to work towards, such as the Clash Blaster, Flings the Roller, Goo Tuba, the Dapple Jewelies, while sub weapons offer up a new auto bomb designed to track foes automatically. Plus there are four new special weapons attached to various guns, including the Tenta missiles and ideal for picking out a few enemies to hurl some ink bombs at. There is also the inkjet, the stingray and the baller which I have yet to see. And when it comes to wielding all the weapons and running about, Splatoon 2's controls seem extremely solid and as tight as controlling Link in Breath of the Wild enabling you to quickly move and pan the camera around but it also throws motion controls into the mix, something I personally enjoy giving you the added advantage of keeping a close eye on the environments to spot obstacles and be ready to aim and concentrate on enemies in a flash. But if you're not feeling the motion option then you can always switch it off at the main menu. Of course now we are missing the map screen which was pretty handy on the Wii U gamepad to look at but now we are just a tap away by pressing X from joining our teammates and diving straight back into the action. And if you ever make it out of the regular battles which as always turns hours into what seem like minutes then there's the pro leagues, the team leagues which I wouldn't mind joining to form a squid squad. Plus you can join friends, set up a private battle and now use Nintendo's new online app available from the app and play stores to invite friends using social and messaging services to join you in all the battle options which I expect will come in handy for many of you. And you also gain the voice chat feature which I've never really been a big fan of anyway and you will need to spend an extra $30 so you can pick up the splat and chat headset to be used with your mobile phone just so you can speak to your friends but to me 
it seems like a bit of a mess and a bit of a hassle, and it's a shame that the Switch was never incorporated with this feature in the first place, but it's no biggie and certainly doesn't dull the game in any way. And if all of this still isn't enough, then Splatoon 2 just keeps on giving, with a new minigame. You can grab some tasty snacks filled with added bonuses to help you gain cash and experience points quicker from Krusty Sean and take to one of the best new features in a local and online battle mode, Salmon Run. Where a team of four is sent to an island to collect Power Eggs. Sounds simple enough, but quickly becomes as frantic and as fun as ever, as the teams must meet a quota of Power Eggs for each of the three waves that make up just one match. Yet, yeah, while also dealing with a variety of seven quirky bosses who turn up, plus a platoon of Salmonid to keep you busy and the action only intensifies as you progress. Chaotic is the word and definitely a welcome break from the regular battle modes. And how could we forget about the hero mode, which was one of my favourite aspects of the first time out. And as much as it is a platforming adventure and linear via stepping stones, imaginatively designed courses, it's a great chance to utilise the squid and humanoid forms to the fullest. Use tactics to take down enemies and take on some of the weirdest, wackiest bosses you will ever see. Plus it incorporates small puzzles and little secrets such as the sunken skulls to seek out. And we even get the chance to meet up with Marie from the Squid Sisters, who initially recruits us to rescue the great Zapfish once again. Splatoon 2 takes many of the original features, and yes, while familiar, it's just as fun, exciting and energetic combined with an upbeat soundtrack to get your heart racing and creating some mayhem each and every time you enter the arenas where no two matches are ever the same. It's Nintendo Entertainment at its best and delivers it extremely well and it's great to see it on the Switch.